Hi, boys and girls. How are you all doing at home in quarantine? <laughs> I hope that you're all doing all your schoolwork like you're supposed to be doing and helping out with mom and dad, not giving them too much of a hard time and helping out around the house and, you know, just enjoying your family time because uh, it's kind of a gift that you've gotten to be able to just spend so much time and just slow down a little bit and then enjoy your family. Um, I wanted to take an opportunity to read a couple of Bible stories to you because I've missed you all in Sunday school. Um, I don't want you to miss your Bible lessons each week uh, while we're out, but um, so I thought I would just take a chance, take this opportunity to um, to read a couple of, of Bible stories to you. I know Miss Kayla read you the Easter story, and I want to read a couple of stories that were in the New Testament because this is about Jesus's life. Um, that that happened right after you remember that Mary uh, went to the tomb and discovered that Jesus wasn't there. And that was when we celebrate Easter, right? I hope you all had a wonderful Easter and, and celebrated uh, the fact that Jesus rose from the dead. And um, she was so surprised. Uh, and then that was where the story that Miss Kayla read uh, the, the last of that story. So I'm going to kind of pick up from there and, and tell you a little bit about what happened right after that. So the first uh, story I'm going to read is from the book of John, which is in the New Testament. If you remember the first four books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the gospel. This one's from the book of John. And I'm going to just read this to you. I'll kind of try to show you the pictures that go along with it as I read. So uh, we'll start with, whoops, it's called Fish for Breakfast. Let me see if I can find the picture there. Okay. So, late one day, Peter, James, and John, and some of Jesus' other friends were together by the Sea of Galilee. I'm going fishing, said Peter. Well, we'll go with you, said the others. They sailed out in their boat, they threw their net into the water, and they waited and waited and waited. And all night they fished, but they didn't catch anything. And you remember, the, the, some of Jesus' disciples were fishermen. Remember Matthew and uh, Simon and uh, Peter and Andrew? Uh, not Matthew, but uh, the others. And uh, we remember that they were fishermen when he when he picked them up as his disciples. So here's the next page. Early in the morning, they saw someone standing on the shore. He called, have you caught any fish? No, they yelled. Well, throw your net on the other side of the boat, the man called. So they threw the net on the other side. All at once, fish filled the net. John looked at Peter. It's Jesus, he said. Peter was so excited, he jumped into the water and he swam to the shore. It was Jesus. He made a little campfire and he cooked fish and bread on it. Come and have some breakfast, Jesus called. They did not have to ask who he was. They knew he was their best friend, Jesus. He was alive. So, um, don't you know they were excited? <laughs> they had seen Jesus be crucified. You know, they, they, uh, they were very surprised to see him right there on the bank where they were fishing. I, I know they must have been, being, been real sad during the time they were out there fishing because they'd lost their friend. They thought, but now they see that he's alive. And when they put their net out to catch the fish, the Bible actually says that they caught 153. So I want you to look, there's two. Can you imagine 153 fish in a net on the boat? That's a lot of fish. So 
you know, Jesus always uh, was able to do uh, miracles, and and he was a, he was a wonderful person, and he excited them, and they they were so happy to see him. Well, the next story I'm going to read you is from the book of Matthew, New Testament again, you remember. And this is right after that. So let me read the next one. It's called Jesus Goes Home. Jesus led his friends to a place near Bethany. Now remember, he, he, they, they found him there on the, the, the uh, banks where they were fishing. So now he, he's joined his friends and he's, he's led them to a place near Bethany. He lifted his hands up and he blessed them. Tell other people about me, he said. Then he went up into the sky. A cloud hit him so his friends couldn't see him. They stood looking up into the sky for a long time. And here you can see them looking up into the sky where Jesus went. All of a sudden, two angels stood beside them. Why are you looking up into the sky, the angels asked. Jesus has gone up to heaven. Someday he will come back the same way you saw him leave. Then the friends went back to the city with joy in their hearts. Jesus had taught them many things. They would always remember that he said, do not worry or be afraid. Trust in God and trust in me. In God's house, there are many rooms. I will go to make a place ready for you and someday I will come back and take you with me so you can be where I am. So, that is a wonderful story that we, we want to keep in our hearts. I want you to know all the stories so that you can, can uh, as you grow older, these stories will have different meanings throughout your life and they will just become more meaningful and you can always know that God is with you. Do not worry or be afraid. Trust in God and trust in me. So remember those words, guys, especially while we're at home in quarantine. Um, we need to remember that God is with us. We're not alone. And soon maybe we'll, this will all be passed and we'll get back to being able to go back to school and see friends and, and I'm excited about that looking forward to that day for y'all and for everyone um, I want y'all to know I miss y'all very much um, please read your Bibles don't forget um, Psalm 23 that you've been working on keep working on that one that's a great Psalm for you to be working on while we're in quarantine so um, until next time, I'm hoping to see y'all soon. I love you guys. Bye.